This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. We're going to deal with mostly cloudy to cloudy skies as we go through the evening hours. Could see some scattered showers here early. Otherwise, rain is going to end across the region this evening, leaving us with a really nice weekend as temps start to warm up, especially next week in mainly tranquil weather conditions. We still have the flood watch that is out. This is for areas of uh, southern Nebraska, far southeastern portions of Wyoming, and of course down into eastern Colorado. As you can see, we do have uh, those flood watches extending clear down into portions of Kansas, northeastern Colorado as well, uh, as we go through the nighttime hours tonight. 95 yesterday after a morning low of 67. As far as uh, precip goes, nothing yesterday. We added a little bit today here in the immediate area, but added a lot more in others. Uh, over four inches of rain reported in Sydney today. 95 yesterday, that is uh, on a stretch we ended today of uh, nine straight days of above normal temperatures here across the region. And uh, we had some moisture today to register, so we'll get some in there. And then the sh chances of showers are going to go down a little bit, maybe a little bit Monday morning, Sunday night into Monday morning, maybe a little bit Wednesday of next week. But uh, really the chances of precip go down considerably. The winds stay calm or light, no issues to be concerned about out there. As far as uh, severe weather threats, we're not going to have any severe weather threat to be concerned about in our area. It's to the southeast of us today and nowhere near us tomorrow or Sunday. The excessive rainfall tonight still looks uh, in the southern areas and then shifts further south and away from us. Again, maybe some of that moisture returning back in on Sunday, otherwise staying in the high country for Monday of next week. Temperatures have really taken a step back from where they were just 24 hours ago. We have temperatures right now that are in the 60s and 70s across the Panhandle in eastern Wyoming. There's a 58 in Cheyenne. Still 100 in Concordia and 90s in portions of Nebraska. But uh, you see that uh, 67 in Wheatland, 61 right now in Kimball. Winds are out of the north northeast at 20 to 15 to 25, gusting over 30. So it is a little gusty, which makes that uh, rain and temperature feel a little raw out there. Pretty good night for high school football as the shower should come to an end. Uh, it looks like any thunderstorm activity should be about done. And it'd be just some light rain showers if we see anything this evening. That clears out tomorrow, and we're left with really a nice day tomorrow and a nice Sunday as well for the most part. Now, as we get late in the day on Sunday, I think we'll start to see more showers build into the region and uh, showers and storms come in from the northwest late Sunday. Lows overnight going to be down into the 50s. Extremely comfortable night. Highs tomorrow, upper 70s and low 80s. Beautiful day tomorrow. As far as precip goes, a few hundreds scattered around until we get late Sunday and could be dealing with a bit more then. Overcast tonight, 56. Tomorrow, it's going to be mostly sunny. Highs 82. Beautiful day looking like tomorrow. And uh, we'll warm in the upper 80s uh, Sunday. Drop that back a little bit Monday in the mid 80s Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday are hottest days with temps into the mid 90s, holding near 90 on Friday.